regular forever stamp so I ordered um, I think I ordered just like five packs of the little booklet so like maybe a hundred so just so it will last me a while because even though I don't get a ton of orders I just don't like going to the post office or reordering so often Normally I just stick with the regular patriotic ones because they don't really have a lot of ones that I care for but I saw these and <gasps> look how beautiful these are. I saw them and I was like, yes, those are mine. Those are the ones. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It comes in this little sheet. You see those? Wow. I'm honestly really excited to use these. All right, let's pack some orders. these orders because um, Zoe woke up from his nap right now I'd rather wait till Frankie's here that way I can focus all my attention on this and I don't mess up the orders as well so yes
so I just put Zoe down for another nap. Um, but earlier this morning, I did a little painting, a little tiny painting. I really like how it came out, thought it was cute. Um, I went into that not really having a set plan. I just pulled up some images on Pinterest and kind of combined them in my head as I was working on the painting. Um, and I like it. It's simple. I didn't spend too much time on it. I limited my colors because I know how I get when I have too many options. Um, I end up spending way too much time on it. I recorded footage of that for to make a reel out of. So I'll probably edit that little video today so that I can post it tomorrow. While Zoe is sleeping, I, I like to not just be productive but like do things in a way that I can still kind of work on stuff as he's awake. So like this morning I recorded the footage for a reel I wanted to post today. I recorded it that way like when he's awake I can and when I'm like hanging out with him I can just edit it on my phone and it's simple. The footage I edited on my phone um, I recorded like a before and after on my iPad and you just can't see the the detail like it looks like there's no before and after it kind of just looks like the same image but there's a difference I promise so I might just do like a it'll be like two different images just kind of boring I think but I wanted to show like the, sl the slight differences so Also, this is what my hair looks like most of the time as a mom. I need to either have it out of my face or... Actually, yeah, that's basically... <laughs> it's basically just out of my face most of the day and as long as it's not bothering me, then I really don't care about how it looks, as you can tell. So at the beginning of this year, I told myself I wanted to get back into painting. My goal was just to paint without feeling the need to plan out everything I create. Mainly, I just really missed it and I want to get better at it. And the only way to do that is to just do it as often as I can. I realized I had a few canvases that I had been holding on to for years, like years. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous how long I was holding on to those canvases. I think I kept telling myself, like, I'll use it, I'll use it for this, I'll use it for that, eventually this, eventually that. Never happened, so... <laughs> I really hate letting things go to waste, so I figured, you know, I would just use them up this year. No excuses. I also found some people giving away perfectly good canvases on my Buy Nothing group, so I swooped those up pretty quickly. The canvas I'm painting on right now was actually one of those free ones. Uh, the only person, other person I told about my little goal was Frankie, um, but now I'm telling you, so hopefully someone else can keep me accountable. This canvas I think was a good one to start out with because initially I had a bigger one, um, but then I just liked the size of this one. I felt like it was less intimidating and easier to just... Um, I knew I could finish it like within a day or half a day. I'm really glad I just dove into this. I had so much fun with it. I didn't really have a, a, a set plan. Like I had a small sketch that I had done, but um, it was pretty loose, loosely put together, I would say. I had a lot of fun with it though. It's not perfect, but I'm really happy I made the time for this as a mom or as a parent it really is harder to carve out time for all the things you used to do especially with painting I feel like you know there's so many there can be so many supplies involved and so um, it takes I guess more time to take out all those things and then clean up and but I feel like painting this I felt more like I felt more just relaxed like kind of like in a meditative state I was able to just really zone 
zone into. I don't know if that's the right word. I was able to just really focus on the painting and I didn't feel like I was rushing either. I felt I was going at a good pace. When I'm not doing something art related, I'm, you know, watching Zoe, trying to entertain him, I'm feeding him, washing bottles, catching up on laundry, which there is a lot of now because babies are so messy and we have to change them multiple times a day. Or yeah, just all my attention is on him, you know, changing him, um, going through his clothes, like just tidying around the house and and also just making sure you're doing stuff for yourself because you can go a little crazy if you're just if you're not making any time in that area my day is filled up with what seems like mundane things um, but the days go by really quickly you won't see most of those things that I do but it just it fills up your day it's crazy But yeah, like I said, I'm glad I was able to do this while Zoe was sleeping. And I love how it came out. I'm really happy with it. And I'm excited to do more of these little paintings. I'm excited to work on my painting skills. Excited to play around with colors some more and not feel so like, I guess, uptight about the colors I choose. But yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.